welcome. You're watching Solutions Ahead on India Ahead. This show brings to you solutions for all your queries and we invite experts from all around the country to answer them for you. You can also ask us all your questions by calling us on these numbers on your screen and you can also write to us at solutions at indiaheadnews.com. Well, I'm really excited today because I always wanted to learn a foreign language and today joining us on the show are experts, coaches, trainers, from Langma School of Languages, who are going to give us some tips on learning foreign languages. They're going to tell us that how can one actually go about using that language for their career, all that you need to know about providing the most utility to speakers globally and more. Let me introduce you quickly to Percy Jane, who is the business head at Langma. And uh, welcome to the show, Percy. Also joining us today on the show is a French teacher from Langma and he is Jean-Marie. So welcome Thank to the you. show, Jean. Thank you. And also joining us is a Spanish teacher, a trainer, Naili Medina Tomayo, and they're all here from Langma School of Languages. So let's begin by asking our first question to Percy. Percy, how many foreign languages are uh, being taught at Langma at this point of time? Uh, so if I talk about the languages we are having right now, before answering your question, I would like to say that language is the need of the era. Absolutely. So be, you can see everything, we are surrounded by the foreign you know, products, be it a, hand mo a mobile phone, be it a, uh, I can say your automobile industry, mm -hmm. be it a apparel which we are wearing, yes, be it a electronics, say, Even everything. Even food today. Yes, right. Yeah. So everything is surrounded by the foreign you know, products, I can say. That's true. So that's why we require, we have a need of foreign languages to learn in today's world. Great. So as you said, the question that how many languages Langma School of Languages offer, yeah. we do have all the foreign languages, be okay. it from the European family, which is like German, Spanish, French, be it from an Asian family, which is Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and be it from the re regional family, which is Tamil, Kannar, Telugu. So you say the language, we provide you the training. Fabulous. That's how it goes. Fabulous. How do, you, how do you structure these courses? Is it duration wise, learning wise, age group wise? How does it work? So we are following the European, for example, if I talk about the European family, so we have structured according to the common European framework of reference. Mm -hmm. So we have a CEFR pattern, which is followed universally. Okay. So if a student who is learning over, like, you know, in Langmuir School of Languages, we are providing the training, which is also being taught in, uh, for example, France. Right. So we are following the same pattern over here as well. Okay, okay. And uh, what about the duration of these courses? How does so, it, does it go two months to a quarter mm -hmm. to a six monthly course? How does it work? So that depends upon the levels because every language has a different level. So True. generally we do have a six levels to learn from the very beginners, like the basic, the scratch from the advanced proficient level. Right. So right. it almost take two years to, you know, acquire any of the foreign language. Right. Now my question to John is, do you conduct the entire class in French or is it English when you're talking to your students? Okay, thank you. So we do contact to French, uh, basically in French, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because uh, French have sure its own culture all right. over the world. So we can say French people, what they have decided to do is like providing the culture. For example, in India here, we have most of people who plan to go abroad. Mm -hmm. So we have the number. For example, when we go to Canada, we try to call now Canada nowadays is like second Indian country because most of people were need French. Right. As for a recent survey now, 21 million students are learning Spanish today. That's quite a number. What are the main benefits of learning Spanish, uh, let's say for a student in India today? Uh, well, uh, nowadays, uh, it is uh, well known the political situation in America. Mm -hmm. uh, so being United States, one of the uh, biggest markets in all over the world. That's right. And then uh, passing the last events in which uh, the relationships of cooperation between the South Block with the North Block are a little bit uh, not that good. So all the Latin American countries, we are looking kind of like for a new partners in business mm -hmm. and their eyes are looking now to Asia. So before there was, uh, you know, like uh, this opportunity in like uh, um, outsourcing mm -hmm. kind of like in the field. Mm -hmm. But nowadays it just has expanded to much other areas as services, as products, as uh, prime uh, materials 
etc. So mm -hmm. I think uh, whoever wants to learn Spanish, mm -hmm. it's a big opportunity in a lot of fields of any career. Fabulous. Oh, I, just, I just know how to say hola in Spanish. <laughs> That's and great. That, it's a big That's, big that's big about big it. <laughs> well, you can ask us all your questions by calling us right away on 040-6813-131213. Or and you can also write to us and uh, the email ID is solutions at indiaheadnews.com. A lot of people wonder that if they have to learn a foreign language in India, then they need to also uh, be very, they have to be very fluent with English. But I think I would disagree on that because of it's course, not really important. Not I mean, at all. Because it? all the languages have the different structure. But yeah. of course, if I talk about French, Spanish, or German, they do have some inclination towards the English language. Right. Because there are so many words which are similar being pronounced sure. in all these three languages. Sure. But you don't have to be fluent not in at English. All. You don't need no. to be fluent in English in order to learn any new language. Yeah, a foreign yes. language especially. Yes. Let me add more on that. Sure. Say like the language is not like mathematics it's not a geography yes it's like connection with the world with the conversation where we meet in our society right so that is good things whenever you learn a language you try to learn how people will be connected together so right so that is the most important things we can yeah. say about the language and the best example could be a child he doesn't right. know any language but he starts learning at very young age very young whichever age. language you are actually speaking at his home that's but true, that's true. And you must be also having a lot of foreigners coming in to learn Hindi then? Right. Yeah, we do Yeah, have because they have coming. to adjust with yes. the whole local mm, setup course, also, course, right. right? Yeah, right. in fact, I have a question and I'll come back to that in a bit about the challenges that Naili and Ron have faced, yeah. uh, you know, settling down here mm -hmm. for a while now. But right now we have a caller. Let's find out what they have to ask us. Hello mm -hmm. and welcome to Solutions Ahead. Hi, ma'am. I'm Neha. Hi. Hi, so actually I'm learning German at school for past uh, four years. Okay. And I would like to know, you know, what are my career options in India, especially in India, if I become a fluent German speaker. All right. So yeah. a German speaker, career options, would you like to add something there, Percy? Sure. See, I think generally people think that learning a language is going to make them an interpreter or translator. These mm. are the only two words which we have, you know, uh, heard from so many of people. True. But true. that is not actually the not truth. Not today, I'm yes, sure. Yeah, right. yeah, there are many so career options. Like if you are going to the MNCs, you'll be getting the profiles like the research analyst, which they require or like your language skills in the same. Right. If you are going to the government sector, so you, we do have the cultural attache. So these are the form, like, you know, the profile they will be getting for the languages. Okay. Apart from that, we do have for the uh, language, you know, you require in the healthcare as well. Right. For example, if I talk about maximum MBBS students, they are going to Germany and China because they are getting the free education over there. So okay. that's why students from India, they are learning the, these two languages in order to get the scholarship to move to Germany and China in order to get their further studies over there. Oh, fabulous. We have another query here and this is Richa writing to us from Pune. She wants to know if she can learn two languages at the same time. So uh, would yeah. you like to add something there? Perhaps? Yes, I can add something. Yeah. To learn two languages at the same time. It's possible. Yeah, is, is French and Spanish those, together yes, possible? Spanish, Spanish together, yeah, because yes, I can yes. say, for example, French. We used to say French is the main language. Yeah. So whenever you learn French, you can learn other languages. You can learn Spanish. You can learn Italian. You can learn Portuguese. So those are the languages where you can learn in the same time. Naili, what kind of methods do you use to teach Spanish in a class uh, room? Let's say, um, do you do you show them some? Uh, is it audiovisual activities? How do you go about it? Um, well, of course, uh, I think like the most important thing whenever you are teaching your language, it's to make your student make uh, feel comfortable with you mm -hmm. and also to get exposed to the culture. Sometimes for students, it's not that easy to know what to listen, what to see, uh, you know, like uh, which artists are fashionable. So I usually explain them further about uh, uh, music, about uh, cinema, about art, and I show them uh, shows, I give them songs, I sing with them. Mm -hmm. I as well tell them stories about myself, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, something that happens to me or like in my everyday life. Yeah. So they can understand a little bit better how is the culture in Spain, how is people who speak Spanish, how we think, how we solve things. And then they will feel more emphatic towards it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like have a better understanding about everything. 
and made them feel more motivated. More motivated. Yes. That's a great point to engage them as well because right. otherwise it, a classroom training can sometimes get very monotonous. I don't right. want to use the word boring, but it can get very monotonous for some students. Yes. And a lot of people today want to use the you know, audiovisual skill or the way of learning. That, that knowledge mm -hmm. is also important to them through visuals, mm -hmm. uh, through sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think if that is what you're incorporating with your uh, learning skills, I think it's fabulous. Right. We're talking to the experts at Langma School of Languages here. Let's find out what are some of the challenges that they have to go through to teach a foreign language here in India. But all this and more right after the break. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching India Ahead. Welcome back. You're watching Solutions Ahead on India Ahead. We invite our experts here on the panel to give you solutions and provide your answers to the queries that you have asked us. Today we are in conversation with Percy Chain, the business head at Langma School of Languages. Also joining her are Jean Marie and Naili Tomayo, who are the teachers who teach uh, French and Spanish at the institute. Um, here, Percy, I have a question for you. Do you also provide any career counseling or advice to your students once they are through with the course and maybe they want to look at some options or uh, maybe some job opportunities outside India? Some kind of a counseling there? Sure. So I think you are asking for the placement which we require. We, requ yes. we provide to the candidates who are learning That's over That's right, to the students. So there. after learning the language, we have a tie-up with many of the corporates like MNCs if I talk about. Okay. So we do provide the placement opportunity to our students who are learning the entire language from Langma. Okay. Be it in India or be it outside India. We do okay. provide the 100% guarantee placement to them as well. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, so they also have job opportunities right. with you. So because this is actually making their entire career. So before taking the course, we are about to provide them a career counseling after completing the course as well we are going to tell them where they can do their jobs if they require in India or outside India mm -hmm. and apart from that if any one of them they are interested to get a job through Langma so we do provide the placement as well to them okay Nali my question here to you is that since you know you have been settled now in India for a while what are some of the challenges you're facing today in the city you know I'm sure climate is one of them. What else are some of the challenges that you're facing to settle in and also facing while teaching or training uh, students here at the Institute? Well, uh, actually, uh, with weather is not a problem because I, my, my, my city is quite hot. <laughs> okay. uh, so it, I feel like home. Also, I have been here for a long time, so I actually feel like home. That's great. But I will say that the problem I had is with the small course at home, you know. Like, for example, with uh, the person who picks up the garbage, you know, that he comes and rings the bell very early in the morning. And, you know, like because of my schedule, I'm like sometimes, uh, you know, getting crazy about that. And, you know, like uh, not able to catch up or explain like what is happening. Uh, but apart from that, I think I have integrated uh, pretty much uh, well. Mm -hmm. Then in the part of uh, teaching, I think... Uh, uh, the most problem I have get is only about my accent, you know, mm -hmm. but I try to, you know, like it's a matter for the student, as you were saying before, you know, like to uh, get used to your ear, mm -hmm. to that particular accent. Right. And then after some time, of course, you were able to recognize it, to understand better and then things getting more in shape and easier. Right. And have you learned a little bit of Hindi? Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so what can you say in Hindi today? Uh, I don't know. Like, for example, Tike ya tike nahi hai. Okay. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah, and and nodding good. your head. <laughs> That's very you good for the bargaining, no? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. What about Jean? What kind of yeah. challenges have you been facing, you know? Well, uh, while you've been settling down. Okay, I, so basically, uh, I'm someone who tries to be socialized with the people easily. So I don't face a lot of problem here because I'm trying to be more connected with Indian peoples. And uh, what challenge I can say is only about the, the way our people are. I, I try to understand like in my country, it's up different places and in India, so people are a bit different. So what I'm gonna get from them is like, to make them just uh, my friends, that will make it very easy to understand mm. uh, the and vibe. He, and have uh, you learned yes. any, any Hindi? So, I mean, in all these... But, but he also uh, sings in Hindi. Oh, he do, sings no, in no, no, Hindi, no, no, okay. No, I, I do. <laughs> so what, what can you say Indian in Hindi? I do love Indian song. Uh, I do love uh, basically the culture, that uh, the music, singer the dance. Ajit Singh. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. my favorite. Is so it? I, I okay. have a lot of track of Ajit Singh. So that's, I love, I'm basically connected with Indian society. Right, so can, can you, uh, so can you hum a line or two for us? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be really nice, a bit, yeah? A bit, uh, 
even today my voice is not that much no, good. No, no, come on, it's absolutely <laughs> fine. Why don't you try? Just a line, maybe. Uh, I can say uh, when I learned it was first song was Kamoshia. Uh -huh. Kamoshia. No, oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Kamoshia. Okay, that, you that do know what it means, song. right? What yeah. Kamoshia means. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not, I don't have a clue, so I'm trying just, just to listen to the melody and how beautiful Indian singer are. Uh, absolutely, yeah. I'm sure. Now, what are the top three countries that come to your mind, John, where most of the population speaks French today? If you can just name them for so, us. So, basically, I say French is the first one, but French have provided culture everywhere across the world. We can say now, first, I can take Canada. Okay, yeah, sure. Because Canada is uh, one of the... French uh, part speaking Call is today, yeah. the first king who was in France, Charles de Gaulle. So what he did, he bring a lot of soldier, a lot mm. of population in Canada mm. to try to build also Canada. Mm. So, so we Quebec can say is now, one place there Quebec is the one place. Yeah, yeah, there people true. speak French. Mm. Canada is the first. Second I can say is uh, Switzerland mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Switzerland also people are more connected with the French people because they are only abroad or we're just connected with the French right. border, even Belgium. Okay. So when we come in Africa, we can say uh, Congo. Congo, Because yeah. basically, so if you can see, I um, belong also to Congo. It's like, I have a double nationality. My dad is a Belgian. My uh -huh. mother, she's Congolese. Is it? So okay. is it like, we have those connections with the French language. So you can say there is so many countries like Senegal, mm. Mali, even in all the north of Africa, like Morocco, mm -hmm. So Tunisia, so those also are French, French colonies. Today. What about so. you, Naili? What about Spanish? Any top three destinations or countries that come to your mind where you say, yeah, these are the countries where people speak a lot of fan, uh, Spanish today. I'm not talking about Spain only. I'm talking about anything besides that. Uh, well, that will be for sure. I mean, like uh, any country you would be in Latin America. Mm -hmm. And as well, I think there's a lot of people in India who speak Spanish, yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of interest in Spanish. Uh, and that's very, uh, you know, like a uh, like good uh, feeling that you get. And I would say also that Spanish is quite much the second language in America mm -hmm. because there's a lot of uh, lat uh, like uh, Latin population there, you know, like Cubans, uh, uh, Colombians, Mexicans, Argentinians. So basically you could say that ha like from the south part of America, even if you're in Los Angeles, it would be like you just hear Spanish in yeah. the street. Like Los Angeles and Florida, Miami, all these places, it's just about Spanish. Is it? Oh, yeah. great. Now, we have an email here that's just quickly come through to our ID, that's solutions at indiaheadnews.com. Sachin is writing to us from Mumbai. He likes to, uh, he's saying that he would like to migrate to Canada, but he doesn't know French. Is there a short course that he can take up quickly and learn some basic French to get there? Okay. I can turn to Samira, I think. So Samira. Sachin. Sachin. Okay, mm. Sachin. Sachin, uh, to migrate to Canada, basically, where exactly, which place you're going to settle. When you plan to settle to Quebec, basically, you need the French. So that French, you cannot learn it in the short time, like a, a, a month or two months. No, no. You have to take at least basic uh, six months will be providing for you. That will be better to learn the six months. Because we do have one text, what we call TEF. So that is the examinations to immigrate to Canada. So that exam have different patterns. So you have to grab the basic level that is A1 and A2. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the second one that should be uh, B1 and B2. That at least can help you to immigrate easily. And even you can settle that without having any problem. You can get a job or you can go in university study. Mm -hmm. So that is the need. So you have basically to clear that exam. Right. Whenever you clear that, you will be First of all, you can feel like I'm now I'm connected with the Canadian people or with the French people. That okay. should be a good solution for you, for her. Great. So Percy, I would yeah, like tell to me. add in that. So we do provide the intensive course as well. So uh, f if because this is six months course is basically a group classes. So if someone has really less time to learn any new language, just the basic in order to sustain in the particular country, then we do have a particular intensive program which a person should be able, like, can be able to complete within one and a half months. Okay. So that also we they do can provide. Be provide. Yes. But they have to come to the institute. You don't have an we, online. Uh, we do have an online.
online program as well. You do we have an online yes, because right. if he's living in Mumbai, then how can he connect Currently, with you? Currently, we are providing training to America, Australia, as well as to Canada. The so students, it's all online. Yes, we Great. do provide. Well, I just I also wanted to understand if a student wants to enroll with Langma today, let's say, and he wants to look at the next batch that you're starting with, let's say, to learn French or Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the enrollment process? When can he start? So we require at least 15 days whenever he would like to start with his language learning. So mm -hmm. he has to take admission at least 15 days uh, before that. Right. For the course. Right. So we are uh, beginning two batches in a month. Mm -hmm. So that's how we are making it. So and how long is each class for? It will be for two hours session. Two hours a session. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I've just got another email and this is coming from Mrs. Uh, Puna. She's mentioning that she's 55 wants to move to Canada. Oh my God, a lot of people who yeah. want to move to Canada. Yeah, right. She wants to join her family there. Okay. Can she continue learning French online there when she moves there is her question. Yeah. With we, you. We, that has already I been answered, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, that's right, right, right. So yes, you so can get in touch with Langma yes. for that. Absolutely. All right. Now, before we wrap up the show, very, very quickly, uh, Naili, if you can just tell our viewers to keep watching Solutions Ahead in Spanish. <laughs> of course. Uh, sigan viéndonos. Okay. Can you say that again? Sigan viéndonos. Okay. And, and Jean, can you say that in French as well? Keep watching Solutions Ahead. Okay. Continue à suivre Solutions en ligne. C'est une bonne émission où uh, il y a beaucoup de belles présentateurs et de belles personnes qui sont ici qui vont vous aider à mieux développer votre culture et votre personnalité. Wow. <laughs> just, just hearing that, you actually realize that why is French considered a romantic language? <laughs> of course, of yeah, course, and not of German, course. maybe so much. Right, right, I got you. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for taking time out, all of you, to be here today on the show. And uh, thank you, Percy, thank for, you for giving us all the information about uh, Langma School of Languages. And if you want to get in touch with them, you can write to us on our email ID. It's on your screen right now. And we will take care of your email and we will send it across to them at this point of time. Thank you for watching Solutions Ahead. All I can say is, uh, Gracias and uh, mercy. Merci. Mercy. Yeah. Merci. <laughs> Thank you Merci. for watching. Keep watching okay. India ahead. Merci.